This is the sauce and my name is Angela Wamboy and on October 19th is National Period Day. So we really want to examine periods. In 2019, are periods still taboo? You know, there's been a recent case uh, in Bahamut where um, a 12-year-old girl named Jacqueline actually committed suicide by being taunted, supposedly, by one of her teachers. Is period shaming still a thing in 2019? Well, guess what? We're going to go straight to the streets of Nairobi and find out. And to help me find out, we have Monica. Uh, she is from Sister Speaks. And we actually have an initiative called Heels for Pads. All right? So we're out here on the streets of Nairobi. And ladies, I'm very sure that you all have had an oops moment in your life. Let's show them what, the, what an oops moment is. All right, so you're in on the joke, but they aren't. So let's hit the streets of Nairobi and find out how do people really feel about periods. Are they just gonna watch us, laugh at us? Or are they actually gonna intervene? Follow us. Two up uh, facing Hilton and Kenya National Archives. Okay, okay. I can't see. Sorry? Uh, like what? Should I be scared? <laughs> Should I be scared? <laughs> She's telling me I have a blood stain. Umayoni a wape? Ni metembe asana? Sal, thank you for helping me. Ni nafaku ashamed kuna baba wengi. Something on my jeans. Yeah. It's oh my red. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. Do you think anyone saw? <laughs> Did anyone see? <coughs> A lot of people saw. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god. Thank you for telling me. I was so embarrassed. Oh my god. Do any of you have a pad on you? Anybody? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> you know, and I don't get cramps, so I can't tell like, when it's
Can you cover from behind? That's fine. Eh, you Oh my god. Oh, so what I would do? Does he ski anything? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think I was sitting down in an Uber mm. and then we can go to Apa. I wanted to get this magazine from e, Kwanza e, uh, Africa Report. <sighs> what do I do now? Hey, girl, what? Oh my god. And this idea is just a shake. It's a bag. 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 It's a Oh my god, it's easy because Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Actually, a social experiment. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a man, what what inspired you to actually intervene and, and tell her? Because I understand sometimes they happen. Yeah, they happen. And do you think most men would react like that? They're just scared. <laughs> Why? Wanaona niayibu. That's the point. Um, well, I think. Um, as ladies, we should help each other, and you don't have to look at another girl um, ashaming herself, as the statue will put it. So I just thought I should tell you, and then you'd be aware of what's going on here. So there was a time I, I actually stood at Cancun bus stop, tied my shoe, bent down, and no one said anything for almost like 10 minutes. Why do you think uh, most people are not up to approaching others to like make them aware, men and women? Um, for women, first, I would say, um, Women tend to think, um, maybe I'll tell her and then she'll be like, um, she'll give me those my attitudes, like, girl, yeah. And then for men, maybe it's embarrassing for them. I Actually, these ladies <laughs> ran up to me. <laughs> I thought it wasn't right, it wasn't right. The embarrassment, no, and yet you are a girl and I'm a girl, so it wasn't right. I just felt, I felt it. <laughs> Um, did you see other people staring at me? Yeah, I did. Many did. Many did. And just let you pass by and walk. And were they looking at me in disgust or were they just laughing or were they, did they look scared? Some just look at you in disgust like she can't like see, feel it. You see? <laughs> Others are just looking at you, staring at you when you just pass by. Have any of you ladies been in a similar situation where you had an emergency or you might have spotted your dresses or anything? <laughs> have you been in this situation? Yeah, when I was in high school. And how did people react? Uh, my friends helped me out because it was uh, like a funky. Uh, they kind of helped me out and yeah, and everything was okay. <laughs> Wonderful. And would you say in 2019 our period still taboo? They ain't taboos. No, periods are not a taboo. 
Yeah, because, I mean, we are ladies and we are growing and we have to be ladies and that's how we were born and we can't change anything about that. Do you think that periods are still a very taboo thing in our society? It's not a taboo thing. No? It's not a taboo. But it, it depends where you come from. Some people mm -hmm. will take it as a taboo or some communities. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's understood where you come from and where you are at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I uh, know it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. It's a women thing. So it's not some be ashamed of walking. Yeah. Like this. Awesome ladies. Keep being amazing ladies. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be celebrating National Period Day this month on the 19th. <laughs> and thank you so much for, for saving the day for me. And I, let me give you back your pad. She actually gave me a pad <laughs> out of her bag. So thank you so much. You keep that for your emergency. <laughs> so we just wrapped up our social experiment of finding out how people react to seeing women in public soiled. So Monica, tell me, what was your experience? Oh, it was, you know, mind blowing. I opening at the same time. I didn't expect so many people to ignore my stain because it was so huge. You couldn't even miss it. Uh, but then again, uh, there were so many people who came up. They helped me, they offered a jacket. There was a gentleman who told me, you have a red stain on your dress. So, and uh, he asked the lady who was passing, oh, help her please. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to know that, um, you know, our message was to make sure that period is not um, a taboo anymore. Awesome, and there you have it. I think, I, I actually, I was so shocked that I could stand at a bus stop, tie my shoe, bend over, <laughs> and no one said anything to me for almost 15 minutes. So you know what, next time if you're out there in public and you see a woman that, you know, is spotted, don't be afraid to go up and tell her because let me tell you, I'm pretty sure she's really, really going to appreciate it. This has been The Sauce. I'm Angela One Boy. This is Mo. Heels for pads. Heels for pads in the building. Yeah. Thank you very much. Ends with Jacqueline. Heels for pads. National Period Day. Thank you. Happy National Period Day, y'all.